Good afternoon, guys, and happy Tuesday to all of your sunshiny faces. Happy day after Christmas, guys. Um, normally the day after Christmas, guys, we're kind of on like, I don't know, like Christmas hangover. <laughs> we just, we don't do a whole lot. I feel like we don't do a whole ton on Christmas Day, and we don't do a whole lot after Christmas, really, either. Normally we're all like using whatever we got for Christmas <laughs> like putting Christmas stuff away and like our gifts and things and stuff like that so um or like yesterday Matthew built the table that he got and stuff but um Matthew went with his girlfriend and they did like a little Christmas celebration thing I think their parents took them out to like or her parents took them out to like um to dinner or something like that and they gave us all these cookies guys look at all these cookies I don't even know what all the different kinds are, but they're all like different cookies than like, I feel like what we made. So it's like perfect to share. <laughs> Sharing scaring guys. So um, yeah, they look super delicious. Um, and we didn't, like I told you guys too, I didn't do a whole lot of actual cookies. I did, I think I just did the peanut butter cookies and I was gonna do the sugar cookies, but then my mom did snickerdoodles and I think she did one or two other kinds. But the one other thing that we did do today, guys, other than that was we um, freezer proofed the house because it's freezing in our house. <laughs> my dad tried to put in like insulation stuff in the windows, which is actually a lot better than it was, but he did that around and like in here, I know for sure the windows and the living room aren't that bad because they're actually newer we've replaced them since we've been in this house but the other ones in the house with the exception of the ones upstairs i think are all original to the house so it is all freezing cold <laughs> um and our windows are very 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 drafty and we honestly should use that like plastic stuff but the problem is like with us we have like blinds and curtains and stuff like that in front of our um you know what's it called our windows and so like it doesn't i don't know it wouldn't work for some of them because of it going our like blinds are in out or like inside of the window frame instead of outside so yeah but the ones in the living room are actually keep like pretty warm because like i said they've been replaced recently like within the last probably 10 years or something like that and then these ones are original to the house though so they're very drafty and these ones i think my dad did it in here and then also in the bathroom too because the bathroom is like freezing cold but my room is actually because i've oh my goodness oh guys i'm sorry i'm tired <laughs> um i do have some stuff in my windows but honestly guys i don't know why mine like oh uh, i guess this one is this isn't actually that bad this is actually i think the the stuff from the air conditioner but mine aren't like super super bad and they also most of the ones in the house don't have like locks on the top of it so sometimes it'll like the top of the window will actually like come down um and it'll like separate from the bottom of the window um if that makes sense so like it'll be open almost at the top and it actually was in my room for a little while because i didn't realize that i didn't have my windows locked in here um i thought they were and i don't know who opened them because i didn't touch them since my dad put the locks in my bedroom so yeah <laughs> but then um mine actually do pretty well like keeping it warm in here and then also too because i have my heater in here and i've kept the door closed all day it's actually like very warm in my room um at least i mean not like super super hot but compared to the rest of the house it's actually pretty warm but it's been like 10 degrees guys i think it was like 10 or 11 degrees or something like that but it's not snowing it snowed on whatever it was christmas eve or something like that or the day before christmas eve but the snow has hung around since then and so it's still pretty chilly and oh my gosh guys look at this dog he is ready for bed already are <laughs> you sweeping? Are you tired? You want to go to sweep my baby? Are you so sweepy, Charpy? Huh, Charpy? Oh, I love it when you roll over like that. It's so cute and I want be little belly. Do I want be little belly? Yeah, I want little Charlie belly. You need a belly? <laughs> it's like I was trying to sweep. So, yeah, guys, it's. I'm not even sure 
how long it's supposed to last but I saw that it was supposed to get like a little bit warmer like it was supposed to go up to like 20s but let's see that's my calendar <laughs> it's not gonna help us here um oh no look at that it's negative three right now um it's supposed to Thursday's supposed to tomorrow's supposed to be 10 degrees is a high um Thursday 17 is a high Friday 15 is a high Saturday 7 is a high Sunday 13 <laughs> And then by next Thursday, it's supposed to be 27 degrees, but it's supposed to snow. So, I mean, it'll be a little bit warmer, but we're like in like single digits almost, like just barely <laughs> double digits. Um, so, yeah, and then it's not very super warm or anything like that. And so, yeah, my dad spent the day draft proofing the windows. I don't even know what you call that. It's like draft proofing or something like that, but yeah guys i didn't do a whole lot today oh my gosh he just rolled over he was sitting on the edge of his blanket and it was too high he just rolled over um anyways i did get like two or three loads of laundry done today and i also got dishes done we just ate leftovers like nobody cooked like seriously guys we'll probably have leftovers for almost the whole week because we had leftovers from christmas day and from christmas eve so We'll be eating those leftovers for like the next probably until like Friday or something like that. Um, so yeah, that was that was today's lunch and dinner and everything. And then got this little puppy. <sighs> what are you doing, Bobby? <laughs> Am I tired? <laughs> Look at his tail. His tail is like as long as the rest of his body. Hi. Hi, Bravo. Are you gonna bark at me because you want to come up here? You look more like a wiener dog when you have that sweater on. You look longer. But this in reality, you don't look like that. <laughs> want to get up? You can come up. You know how to do it. You've done it before. He just picks and chooses when he wants to be lazy and come up on the bed or when he wants somebody to pick him up and put him on the bed, don't you? But yeah, guys, I was pr I was productive, got laundry, dishes done. I'm actually almost done with laundry, and I've been taking this stuff, too, like, out of, like, there's no laundry baskets in the house that have any laundry in them right now, and I'm actually almost done with laundry. So I think I just actually have three loads left to do. I might do a fourth, um, only because Jack put his, one of his blankets in the wash, and so... Um, I like to wash like at least like one or two other blankets together and not wash them like separately but because there's clothes I don't want to make wash them together not because like I don't want to wash them together but like sometimes it'll cause an uneven load in the washing machine but if you put like two blankets or three blankets in there it evens it out but if you put like clothes and a blanket sometimes the blanket like shifts to one side and then it makes an uneven load and then the washing machine shakes and stuff like that and so um it actually has been really good though though with this like anti-shake technology <laughs> from lg it actually works really well but and i've only had the problem one time which i actually put a pillow in the dryer or the washing machine um and one other time too but that was because i got, ended up and this is the problem with sometimes with the blankets and stuff like that there's a blanket that ended up getting stuck around like i don't even remember what it was like the arm of a sweater or something like that and got like wrapped around it and so then it was like this it was like pulling like that plus something else got wrapped around it so there was like a, a couple things like all got wrapped up together and I think there was like it was maybe my mom like the curtains from the living room um or like the curtain sham or whatever I don't know is it called a sham but like the thing that goes on the top like they're thinner um than like long curtains and so it was like that got stuck in there so it was like a bunch of stuff and it was all on one side of the washing machine and like the washing machine couldn't unset it which it does actually it has this really smart technology and like sets it so that it fills back up with water and then sets everything so it gets back in place but it wasn't working because everything was all stuck together so um it was like and then too there was like 
I don't even know, like some string or something like that from some shirt that got stuck and wrapped up in something too. But I like to do the blanket separately so that that kind of stuff doesn't happen. I have, don't have to go be like, oh my gosh, what's stuck in the washing machine? Um, that happened too with, I was washing one of the dog's blankets and the towels together and like the towel, it was like an old towel. So it had like strings on it and stuff like that. One of them and it ended up getting stuck in with the blanket and cause that to happen too so yeah if there's like strings or like anything like long that can get like stuck around a blanket it always tends to for some reason <laughs> and um will then end up causing an uneven balanced load in our washing machine um so yeah i'm like i said i'm just gonna try and get that stuff in there separately but i'm gonna get these puppies to sleep you wanna go sleep you wanna go take a shower go to bed we could take a shower. We could kill this room. You want to go kill this room? He's already asleep. <laughs> so I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, so make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love it if you'd subscribe. And I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow. So bye guys.